Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So welcome back to uh, part 9 in Mass Balance with Reactive Process. So in today's lecture, we will look into uh, molecular species balance method in solving mass balance question. So previously we have learned about extent of reaction method. We have learned also atomic species balance method. So in this video, we will look how we use molecular species balance method to solve mass balance with reactive process. Okay, basically, in chemical engineering, this is the basic uh, mass balance equation for mass balance equation. So input plus generation equals to output plus consumption. So this equation will be used in molecular species balance method. Okay. We will try to understand this concept using this simple uh, exercise. So we have ethane dehydrogenation produced ethylene and also hydrogen. Okay, so you have one reaction with ethane dehydrogenation uh, uh, process and then produce uh, eth ethylene plus hydrogen. So our our feed to the process, our feed to the reactor is 100 mole of ethane. After dehydro dehydrogenation process, produce uh, 40 mole of hydrogen and unknown amount of ethylene and we have balance of ethane. Okay? So now, the question wants us to find the amount of the unknown of ethane and also ethylene not used using molecular species method. So when we look into the process, when we look into the information, we see that we have 100 mole of C to H6 Okay, and we produce only 40 mole of H2. If we look previous, if we remember previously, if we have 100 mole of C2H2, sorry, C2H6, we will produce 100 mole of C2H4 and also 100 mole of hydrogen based on stoichi stoichiometric equation if the process uh, react completely. Okay, and this process only have one reactant where it is this compound will be its limiting reactants. If limiting reactant react completely, 100 mole here will produce 100 mole here and all those 100 mole for hydrogen. But see, we only produce 40 mole of hydrogen. That means the process did not go completely. There must be fractional conversion, right? That, that's why we expect we have some balance of C2H6 which comes out from here. Because if only 40 mole produce, that means uh, only 40 mole have been converted become only 40 mole from 100 only 40 mole of this being used to produce 40 mole of H2 based on stoichiometry okay now the question wants us to find ethylene produced and also the balance of C2H6 that comes out from the reactor so to find this we use the molecular species method in molecular species method remember we will you do the balancing according to general mass balance equation. Alright, as its name, molecular species balance. So when it comes to molecular species balance, means we will do balance according to the species that involve in this reaction. So we have one species, two, three. Right, and now we want to find for ethylene and ethane. Okay, let's look. We already been given the result for the output for H2. Okay, from H2, we'll just see how does this uh, equation being used. So now we are looking into the molecular balance of hydrogen. Input plus generation produces output equal to output plus consumption. Again, input plus generation equals to output plus consumption. Do we have any input for hydrogen? No, because hydrogen is our product. It does not react here. So, zero. Plus generation. Yes, we do have generation of hydrogen because hydrogen was generated, becomes product. And we have result of the product. That is 40 mole, the output. 
plus con zero consumption. Why is zero consumption? Because hydrogen is not being used to produce anything in this reaction because it is a product. Therefore, generation of hydrogen, generation here of hydrogen equals to 40 mole of hydrogen. Okay, now, this is a basic concept how we use this equation. Okay, so now, this is where we want to find our unknowns. So, in order to find our unknowns, we have to, because our unknowns are ethylene compound, ethylene and also um, ethane. So, for ethane, for ethane, we still use this equation. Input for ethane, yes, we do have 100 mole of ethane goes into the process. Plus generation, do we produce anything from, uh, but do you produce ethane in this product? No, that's why we have zero. Equals to output. Okay, so the output is unknown. Plus consumption. Yes, we consume C2H6 to produce hydrogen and ethylene, right? So, in order to find this consumption value, so what we have to do, because we are being given the information about hydrogen, we use this information of hydrogen to find what will be the mole of consumption it uh, here. So, 40 mole of hydrogen generated times with this ratio, 1 mole C to H6 consumed, will produce 1 mole of hydrogen generated. This ratio is, we got this ratio from the reaction. So from there, this becomes 40. So we bring that 40 here, so 100 minus 40 mole will get the amount of output, <coughs> the amount of output for ethylene, the amount of output of ethylene that comes out as unused here. So this 60 is actually this, because from here we can see if 100 goes in, and we produce only 40 mole of H2, that means we only consume 40 mole of C to H6, 40 mole of <coughs> hydrogen produced, excuse me. Definitely, the balance that will be not used is 60 mole, right? Okay, now, we need to find for ethylene, because we also need to find the unknown for ethylene. We still, again, we use this equation, Input plus generation equals to output plus consumption for ethylene. Do we have input for ethylene? No, so it becomes zero. Plus generation, yes, because it's a product, so it is being generated. Equals to output, this one, because we don't know the answer. We do not know the amount yet, sorry. Plus consumption. Our consumption becomes zero. Why? For ethylene. There's no consumption, yeah, because it's, ethylene is also a product. Therefore, we move to the next step. In order to find this output for ethylene, we know that hydrogen was produced as 40 mole. We find relationship between hydrogen and ethylene, where we know that from this reaction, one mole hydrogen being consumed and also one mole of ethylene being consumed. So we times it here. Then finally, we get 40 mole of ethylene was generated. So, um, I hope it is clear enough. So, I'll give you more tutorials on this uh, to, to, so that we will get more comfortable using this method later. Thank you.